Morning, Ayers. Hi. What's up? So last night I was roller skating in Progresso on the boardwalk and I was using my new like fuchsia pad, like elbow pads, knee pads, wrist things, and I was doing really, really well. And there was this point where there was a bunch of people and then I didn't really realize because there were so many people, but there was like a big change in the sidewalk like level, like it was, went from here to here and I didn't see it. So I kind of tripped over it and I fell. And it was like, you know, sometimes you fall and it's like no big deal. And you know, some other times you fall and it's like, ow, <laughs> that really hurt. So that's what happened to me last night. And I think mainly because my knee pads new or different, it's like a weird shape. It's not like round, so it, it hurt. So I really banged my knee and then I got a scrape on my leg. Which Another scrape. Doesn't look that bad, but it actually really hurts a lot. So well, like I always told the kids when they were little, I think scrapes are kind of the worst thing because they're always in a spot where you have to bend and scrapes are just kind of ew. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to using my trusty pal calendula. So calendula is a great vulnerary, which is an herb that's very healing for the skin and kind of like just like speeds up the healing and really it's a it's a great thing to use when you have a scrape or a cut or something like that. So I'm just going to put some calendula on and then I guess we'll give you the update on how it looks. The reason we're doing this is because Eris did, uh, Eris always wears pads, helmet, the whole thing, you know, elbow, wrist, everything. But um, not that long ago, she got, where that is right there, she got another bad rollerblading scrape, a really, really bad one. i kicking myself because I didn't take a photo of it because it was kind of gross, which I like the gross stuff, but we figured other people wouldn't. But then when Eris put the calendula oil on it, um, what would you put on that time? Calendula oil? We could, I, I, it was like, explain, Eris, explain how, like I put it on and then I put it on one night and then I woke up the next morning and I was like, are you kidding? Like it looks so much better. How so fast it healed. So hopefully it's the same I'm, with this one. We're going to document this one. Okay. So there it is. Whatever this is. Saturday morning. We'll see how it looks. I guess by tomorrow morning. Okay. Calendula. Eris, just popping in here to interrupt you on the couch in the salon to see how your rollerblade scrape's doing. Let's take a look. It still looks gross, but it's definitely healing. So this is day two. Yep, it is definitely looks, definitely looks better. Like this might look gross to you, but definitely you can see the healing going on. Okay, I'll be checking back. It's day three. We were a little negligent about checking in, but it's day three of Eris applying calendula oil to her rollerblading wound. Take a look. Take a look at this. So it still looks gross, but it's definitely way, way speeding up healing and you see the scab is like scabbing off and there's like new skin under that so that's pretty cool so if you don't know about calendula and you got a wound or you're going rollerblading and you fall down you want to get yourself some calendula oil any final thoughts Ares? go calendula go calendula right okay here's the final update look no scab no cut just new skin that's pretty cool the powers of calendula. If you're not growing in your herb garden right now, go out and get a nice non-GMO organic plant because if you fall down and get scrapes <laughs> or you get wounded, you need calendula. Stay grounded.